Well, I'm uh, Doug Cooksey and I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. And uh, I've known jo Joanne for um, a couple of years now. I met her on the dock, actually. She was out fishing and uh, I could tell right away she knew uh, how to, you know, certainly knew of the, uh, how to attract the fish and how to find them, but I really didn't, until I fished with her that night, I really didn't realize how much of an expert she really is at understanding the, um, how, the how the fish come in and how they uh, and how they uh, uh, how to actually hook them and all that but it was an amazing evening um, we we uh, we started out at nine o'clock and fished all the way until five in the morning and I couldn't have told you that that uh, what time it was when we finished or anything it, it, we had so much fun I caught my first big fish about 10 minutes into the night um, when we actually arrived at the location um, you could see some shadows in the water and uh, after we uh, unloaded all of our equipment, um, quickly got um, some bait and, and um, started working a couple of the areas where I saw those shadows and about 10 minutes into it caught a, about a 26 and 3 quarter inch redfish. It was an amazing fight and a great fish, it really was. Um, so about 10, 10 minutes into the first, uh, into the night was the first fish and uh, we caught the last fish about 10 minutes before. I was so worn out my arm was about ready to fall off after catching all those fish, um, it, was, it was about 10 minutes and then I said, I'm done. But in between, about every five minutes, we had a bite. It was amazing. We caught all kinds of fish too. That was what was really fun about it. I learned, um, I learned how the different types of fish bite and how, they, how some of them take it and run and some of them tap, 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 tap and how to tighten it and how to, I mean, she taught me all, all the ways to, to identify the fish by the way they were biting and then how to how to set the hook differently for each of the different fish and by the I would say partly through the evening I was I could really see where she uh, you know what she was talking about and really connect into it so there are some little tricks or she's got some finesse oh, definitely yeah first of all she has the right equipment and she has the right you know location and uh, and then she she talks to, uh, on every one she'll say you know the fish uh, you'll she'll ask you how how it bit and she said, okay, now, um, instead of jerking it like you did the, on the last time, just tighten it up and keep tightening and keep tightening and raise your rod tip up. And then at the end, set the hook. And sure enough, on the next, I did exactly what she said on the next cast. And I caught about a three pound uh, sheep's head. It was amazing. The sheep's head, they're the ones that they bite, 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 bite. And if you jerk it out, you just jerk, they have such hard mouths, you just jerk it right out of their mouth. You got to let them chew it and get it in there. And then you tighten it up and work it. And then they almost set the hook on themselves. As opposed to the, the schnook, boy, when they hit you, you got to hit and get them out of the location because if there's a piling there or something, those schnook will run up in, you know, up in that piling. And, and uh, we caught actually um, a, a couple of schnook that night and a couple of redfish that, boy, they were fighters. They were fighters. But they, you, had to, you had to treat them differently. You know, the, the, the sheep's head, when you get those, they're hoarse. They just pull, pull, pull down. They want to go to the bottom. As opposed to the redfish want to run and then they go and go and go and you're reeling and that's the real spinning and Joanne saying just keep the tension keep it tight keep it tight and boy she's ready with the net and then you, you finally get it in and then you look and your eyes get really big because the fish is about you know not exaggerating it's about that big and she just scoops it up she's always ready to go with the net that's one thing I'll tell you she was she didn't miss one fish with that net yeah but it was a pretty amazing experience to see, like I said, all those different kinds. I mean, and we caught um, jacks, we caught, uh, like you said, schnook and redfish, trout, uh, trout. So, and that, they're completely different in the way that you, you know, that when you catch those, you can't pull too hard because they have such soft mouths. And so I would have never caught that trout if I was horsing it like I was, uh, but like the sheep's head. But she had set me up so that I could, you know, react differently to when they bought, when they, when they bit the. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. bait. Yeah, yeah, she's got the best bait. I tell you, I've never seen shrimp that happy. And they they had for some they were magic shrimp actually because they seemed to they seemed to when they were in the water they seemed to say come get me come get me. <laughs> it was serious because I've never seen anything like that. Ten minutes in to catch a to catch a, a redfish that big, and uh, you know the shrimp were the shrimp were they were part of it certainly because they were they were very lively. You know they were big and then they're very lively. But she also the thing that I actually got the, the one of the big takeaways was how to hook the shrimp. Because I've been hooking them. I, for all these years, I've been coming down here. I've been coming to Florida for 35 years. I have not been hooking the shrimp the right way to keep giving them to, to, for them to really be lively. And she knows how to do it. 
I'm not going to tell you how because that will give away the secret. But yeah, she knows right. how to do it. If you want to go out and have the most amazing night or morning or whatever it is of fishing uh, that you can imagine, you, you need to contact Joanne. And besides that, she's such a nice lady. I mean, she really, um, it was a fun night just to be out there with her. And she's really, the thing about Joanne too is, if you like fishing, she, you speak her language. She loves, she loves the, the hunt, you know, to try to find those fish. And uh, yeah, you just, it's, it was just a fun night. It wasn't just the fishing, it was just, she was right there. We were having fun together catching those fish. Even though at the end of the night, I'm not sure Joanne actually ever even put the rod in the water because she was helping me get the fish off so often. It was really fun, really a fun time.